Hi, my name is Sharon from Tiny Trends LA. Today, I'll be showing you how to take this toddler shirt and transforming it into this using the ombre dip dye method. So, let's get started. Okay, so let's go over everything we'll be needing for this project. You'll need a clear container, a bucket, a pail, a stainless steel sink, anything that can hold up to three gallons of hot water. We'll be needing dish detergent, table salt, rubber gloves to protect our hands, a stirring spoon, paper towels just to test our color before we actually start dipping our garment, a box of Rit dye. In this case, I'll be using dark green. Rit dye Color Stay Dye Fixative. I've included links to both of these in the description below. And in this case, I'm going to be dyeing, um, sorry, I'm going to be mixing my Rit dye before I pour it into my dye bath. So I'm just going to use this little mason jar I have. It holds up to two cups of hot water, mixing my color into it. You can use anything you have on hand as long as it holds two cups of hot water. So let's move on. Okay, so I'm starting off with two gallons of hot water. I boiled my water and placed it in my container. So the reason I'm using two gallons of water is because my garment is weighing less than a pound. If you are working with fabric or garments that are weighing at a pound, make sure to use three gallons of water for your project. So the first thing you wanna make sure is that the garment you are working with has been washed. And if it has any stains, make sure to remove those stains before you get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our garment and we're gonna put it in our hot bath. And we just wanna make sure that it's soaked all the way through. Taking it. We're gonna put this aside for right now and we'll come back to it in a bit. So next, let's mix our ingredients into our bath. So the first thing I'm gonna put in our bath is one cup of salt. So I am using salt because the content of my garment is 100% cotton. So if you're working with cotton, a Remy linen, linen, or a rayon, you'll be using salt. If you're working with a fabric content that's a nylon or wool or silk, you'll be using a cup of vinegar instead. So I'm gonna take my cup of salt, pour it into my dye bath, and go ahead and stir it. And you wanna make sure that your salt is mixed in well. And the salt is actually gonna help enhance the color of your dye. Okay. I gave this a nice stir. Go ahead. Now I'm going to add a drop of dish detergent into my bath. And what the drop is going to do, it's actually going to help level our dye. Just go ahead and stir that. Okay, now that this is all mixed, our bath is ready. So the next step is going to be mixing our dye. So I'm gonna take my two cups of very hot water that I placed in my jar, and I'm gonna mix my dye into it. Just go ahead and pour that all in there. You're gonna have a very concentrated color. Go ahead and give it a nice stir. And you wanna make sure that everything just really dissolves in there. So just stir it for a bit. Neatly done. Now that I am done, go ahead, place this off to the side. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do with our dye bath, we're gonna add a little bit of color we're gonna to wanna to start off with a light shade and we're gonna work our way up to a darker color. So the lighter the bath, the better because we can always just move up in the gradient of color. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of water into my bath. Sorry, a little bit of dye into my bath. Okay, move my napkin this way. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just give that a stir. So 
So my color is actually looking kind of light right now, so I'm gonna give it a little bit more color. Just a, just a little bit. Okay. Perfect. So now I'm gonna take my paper towels. I'm gonna test out my color. Take a few. I'm just gonna roll them up like this. I'm gonna dip about halfway down just to test my color out. So it's actually coming out pretty clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some more color to that. So I'm go ahead and put this off to the side. Add a little bit more color. And it's okay. We'll just keep going until we get the shade we want. Okay, so now I am actually getting a light shade of green, which is perfect. So I am actually going to get started on dip, dipping my garment into my bath. Okay, so before I start dipping the garment, if you have a second container or just something you can rest your garment in, a plastic bag, make sure to grab that and put it on the side. We're gonna be using this in between dips with our colors. Okay, so next, I'm going to take my shirt and I'm going to submerge it into my bath. Push it down using my spoon. Go ahead and just give that a spin and you really just want to make sure it's all the way under so that it can absorb color evenly. Okay. So now we're going to be checking the shade of our garment. Hands. going to check it and it is coming along nicely however I still have some patches of white like along the collar so I'm going to go ahead and just put it back into my bath and let it sit a little longer go ahead and stir that and just get it all evenly submerged So we're going to check it. We really just want to look at our overall garment and I'm still seeing some white so I'm going to go ahead and just put it back in there. Okay. Taking it out and look at it. And my color overall is a lot lighter than I would like it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a little bit more color into this bath and I'm just gonna fully submerge it one more time. Put that aside. Just a little bit more color. Go ahead and give that a stir. Now this step is gonna be a little quicker just because our color is darker. Take it, I'll fully submerge it into my bath. Give it a stir. looking much better. It's a lot darker. Perfect. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it aside. Now, if you have a hanger that looks like this, go ahead and grab one of those. Now I'm actually gonna take this and I'm gonna pin my hem and my sleeves before I start on my darker color. 
just because I want my sleeves and my hem to be about the same shade once we start dipping. Just hold it together right there, like this. Actually matching my seams up as best as I can while I do this. You should now have something that looks like this. So we're gonna go ahead and get our bath ready with a darker shade. So we're just gonna pour in a little bit more color and we're just gonna gradually work our way up to a darker shade. Stirring it. Okay. Taking my garment, I'm gonna start dipping it and you want your dip to be at about, I would say, three quarters to an inch away from your hem, just so you can start gradually building your color up. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna submerge it. Just wanna hold it above. Just start dipping it, pulling it up. Really use your hand, you want both sleeves in there. Pulling it up, and we're just gonna do this until we start building our color. I use my hand here to hold this portion up. Help me out there. There we go. Okay. Now I'm just gonna start building my color. Taking this, place it here, and we're just gonna start getting And again, just working my way away from my hem. About an inch each time. So my color starts. So you wanna go an inch every time you do a new level of color, just so you can start seeing the buildup and the gradient on it. Just gonna dip it a few times into your color. Try to get it as even as possible. It's already looking. Put this aside, add a little bit more color. And we'll just repeat the process for every shade.
So once you're satisfied with your gradient, going from lighter to dark, if you've achieved your darkest color on the bottom, you can now take your garment, put it in your bin, dump out your dye bath, replace it with fresh hot water, same amount, and we're gonna come back and we're gonna do our fixative to hold our color together. Okay, so now I'm starting off with fresh water. Dumped out my dye bath, came back. So I'm starting off with the same amount I had before, about two gallons of water. Went ahead and boiled it, placed it into my container. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be adding four tablespoons of my Color Stay Dye Fixative into my warm bath. Four, and what this is gonna do, it's gonna help our color stay on our garment as well as enhancing it which is what we want. So once we have our four tablespoons in here, we're gonna go ahead and stir that up. Make sure it mixes well into our water. Okay, so now we're gonna take our garment and we're gonna place it into this bath. We are going to let it sit in our bath for about 20 minutes and we're going to be stirring this occasionally for 20 minutes. And if your water starts turning color, um, turning a shade of green, apologize for that, um, it's totally fine. It's supposed to happen. You're just going to go ahead and stir it, mix it all around. Just like that. So we're going to do this for about 20 minutes. Okay, so now that your garment has been sitting in your dye fixative bath for about 20 minutes, you're going to go ahead and take that out and you're going to rinse it under cool water until the water runs clear. Once you're done rinsing it, we're going to go ahead and pop this in the washer and we're going to wash it with warm water, mild detergent, and then dry it. So let's rinse it with our cold water. So you just want to make sure that your water is running clear and that there's no more dye bleeding out. So my water is looking pretty clear. Go ahead and squeeze out the excess fabric. Fabric, sorry, I <laughs> meant water, the excess water. Okay, I'm now going to take my garment you should have something that looks like this. Pretty awesome. We're gonna pop it in the wash, mild detergent, warm water, throw it in the dryer, and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so now that your garment has been washed and dried, you should have something that looks like this. Your color should be lighter on the bottom and slightly flayed to darker on top. Now remember, when you're doing your dip, if you want your color to be darker on top, just let it sit longer in between dips so that the color really takes to your garment. So what I am going to be doing is I'm going to be adding some detail patches to my shirt just to make it a little different. I've actually found a bundle of about 20 patches for under $10 that are military inspired. I've included the link in the description below. So now I'm gonna place my patches on my top, on my shirt, sorry. I'm gonna go ahead, find my placement, and I'm just gonna iron them on.
is looking really, really good. I'm really excited about it. And there you have it. This looks so good. So once again, my name is Sharon from Tiny Trends LA and we're actually going to be giving away this very shirt, which is a size 5T via Instagram. So make sure to follow us at Tiny Trends LA. And I personally would love to see your dip dyed shirts. So make sure to tag us on those. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.